Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to change the job owner in SQL Server. Right now, I am having uh, 5 jobs in my SQL Server 2022 instance. So my requirement is like, I need to change. For example, when I was involved in migration activity, I entered in a certain conditions where I need to change all the job owners to the SA. So first of all, we will see how we can change, how I can we can list. So we can achieve our requirements step by step. First require first objective to achieve my requirement is how I need to list what are the job IDs that are jobs that are their owners. Okay, using T SQL. Select star from msdb right now we in the master so i am using msdb dot dbo dot dot sys jobs okay so if i execute here i am getting job id and owner id okay here I need to convert the job ID into like uh, for that we have one function is right so what I'm doing here is uh, job ID comma owner ID SID okay if I execute this here I got see both are uh, like we got the requirement but we cannot understand what exactly it is okay so we need to convert that so okay yes user underscore name yes name so i am converting this okay click you see we got the owner uh, owner name so i got i can say that as a job owner owner if i execute here i got i need to convert with the job uh, like name okay first name is there or not we'll see yeah name is there Okay, and I'm using comma. Click execute. Yeah, see, I can I can remove the job ID for now. Yeah, if I click execute, see, the, I'm having five jobs. All jobs are having with Lenovo user only. So I want to change this for uh, to the SCA. So how we can? So we got we first object we met. Now now the second objective is like how we can change the owner uh, job owner you for one single database so right click on database click properties right click on database click properties so here come is type is take the script okay so i am kept in all in one format in one line so I'm removing that MSD is not required. Why? Because directly we are using MSD. Okay. So this single command we are going to use to change the database for this ID. Okay. So now how we can change? Let's do that. This is the command, right? So I'm pasting this command. Now I don't require, I need this command, right? So execute, I up to here. I'm use hard coding the value here. I'm I'm removing the name. Name is not required for me. See, I'm hard coding the value. If you execute here, I go got this script. Okay, so but ah, uh, see if you see the difference here. See update job ms job id there is no owner name right so there is no job id here we have a job id right but he didn't have a phone. still we have to do that 
so I am removing this one so now that is I need to place the owner ID is not required for this I am removing this one now I need to place job ID here I'm sorry job ID so I need to concatenate this one right so I need place I'm concatenating okay um, I need to pass another value right so I'm copying this one so here inside single quotations uh, so I'm getting conflict here okay why because here also I'm hard coding the values right so that's the reason what I will do I will place square brackets here for essay so now the problem okay uh, okay now I am hard calling the values here I am removing the comma okay so now see that I am building the query step by step so that you can build on your own so I got the data types work care is in your identifier complete okay see this is like test format this is like indifferent format so unique identifier so now I need to convert it convert worker max comma okay now execute it I got the value okay so if you see here st still I am having this issue here I'm pasting I got the job name every day see I need to place the job ID here okay inside the quotations I need the comma as well here for see here I need to pay single quotation and the comma for single quotation I can uh, place it here okay plus um, a single quotation comma plus single quotation or otherwise we can do one thing here I can hard code this one as well here okay see how it goes I can place this one here okay now see yeah I got the comma here okay I can you can place it like this I'm giving space between for comma and owner let's see how the output okay here I am pasting the value I'm writing the main one so now I got the comma as well here I am single quote in the starting hand now I need to place single quotation here okay so now what I want to do when I try to place the uh, plus symbol single quotations right so it will consider as okay I got this single quotation uh, if I place another single quotation it will uh, uh, hard coding the remaining part so I am placing this another one yep I got this result okay see let's see whether it is correct having exactly or not no it is hard coding the values uh, it is hard coding the this order type as well okay now we will see how it goes um, unclosed quotation mark yeah we'll um, now I am using plus symbol so execute still I got this error okay now
so I am commenting this click execute so here I am having a comma right so here I am having some space comma to encode one values we have some different functions okay I am getting this one here I need to place character symbol okay just so we can plus symbol char 39 okay so plus symbol so if we use this character 39 symbol okay it will add quotation is it it is like unicode format okay uh, unicode characters so we can use in this way as well so let's see that how is that result got or not yeah we got this now we will see I am doing that yeah I got place see the same syntax is matching here I need to place SA inside the quotations okay so no not required I think let's see this whether it is I'm executing this so in correct syntax so I need to place here in the essay as well right okay we'll see uh, I'm reviewing this one okay now I'm coming here Yeah, we got this hard coding the value. Let's see whether it is also the same or not. Still, we got this error. So I can remove this brackets. Yeah, we'll copy, paste it here. So click I execute. Yeah, it's got success, executed successfully. So finally, we have built the syntax. Okay, for to change all the database, um, the sorry, uh, job owners to the SCA. So now I am copying this one. Click execute. Uh, I'm selecting test format. Click execute. See, I got this. I'm copying all this one. Go to new query and paste it here. Click execute. Yeah, it's successful. Now go to the instance and refresh here. So now go and check manually properties. Yeah, it got changed. It got changed. It got changed. Okay. So it got changed. Now I have a having command this one as well, right? So if I execute this one in tabular format see all job on, uh, owners are changed to the SA. I hope uh, you may like this video so one request for my from my end is so please comment how uh, how much you like this video whether it is useful or not either it's good or bad so I will take both as a neutral only more neutral way so please do comment your opinion thank you